In this video, I wanted to share with you how I got my first 100 subs on YouTube and you could do the same by following the tips and tricks that I used to get to 100 subs. And I don't wanna make a generic how to get subs video. You could type in how to get subs and you'll see ton of videos with good value on how to get su subscribers in general, like using uh, good thumbnails, having good entertaining videos and things like that. I'm gonna make that video a little bit later and if it's up, I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description for you. But this video is all about how to get your first 100 subs with using a couple of simple techniques. The reason why it's important to get 100 subs and to get it fast is because you officially get to name your YouTube channel once you get to 100 subs. Your channel needs to be 30 days old and you have to have 100 subs. Once you get to that point, you could officially get a custom URL. So it's important to do that fast. So the goal here is spending the first 30 days and if your channel is old, don't worry about it. But if you're new to YouTube, to spend the first 30 days to get your 100 subs, I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. And stick around to the end because I wanna go through at a, at a rapid speed all the tips and tricks and I'll save some of the good ones for the end and give you a rapid fire on all the different things that you should do with your YouTube channel. So tip number one is to have a very clear category and topic on your channel. Now is your channel about vlogging, is your channel about gaming, about uh, makeup, about food, whatever your channel may be, make sure it's very clear that your channel is about that. So you could use all the artwork around your channel and the video should be about that topic. For example, the channel you're watching this on is a how-to channel. Honestly, it's a little broad, but I have big goals with it. But it's, it's a little more difficult to grow at just a general how-to channel, even though it's specifically how-to, and I'm not gonna do vlogging or personal things on this channel. But I do have a filmmaking channel that has grown faster because all the videos on there are very specific to, uh, to filmmaking. So make sure you pick a topic and stick to that topic. The narrower you get honestly, the easier you could grow your channel when it's brand new. So the next tip is a basic one, social media. And I'm assuming you have at least one video and that's why you're watching this YouTube video. And with that one video, you wanna share it. So you have a personal Facebook page, share it on that. Instagram, share it on that. Snapchat, share it on that. Your friends are gonna be the easy subscribers. Don't skip on that. Hopefully you're not embarrassed of your first video, so sharing it is not gonna be an issue. But your first few 10, 20, 30 subscribers are gonna come from your social network family, friends, go ahead and utilize that. Okay, the next tip that drives me crazy is just having good quality sound. Now camera doesn't matter, I'm using a nice 4K camera here, you don't have to have something fancy, but sound is huge. Right now I'm wearing a mic, if I tap it, I'm just hiding it under my shirt. If I'm doing screen capture or gaming videos that you could be doing, you could use a mic like this. I'm gonna put a link in the description for this one. It's only 50 bucks and it's great quality. It's USB, goes right into your computer and you could record that way. If you're not showing your face, if you're showing your face, go ahead and get a lavalier mic. In this case, it's a wireless, but you could connect it to your, to your camera or your phone. Again, don't worry about the camera first. You could use your phone. Most phones are fancy enough. The new iPhone shoots 4K videos just like this camera. So don't worry about the camera, but worry about good quality sound. People are gonna go crazy if you have bad quality sound. If the, if the microphone on the camera is picking up the sound on your phone from 10 feet away, you're not gonna be able to hear anything. So that's the number one thing that I tell people when it comes to the quality of the video. This next tip is more or less a jump start, and I don't recommend this on the long term, but this is a super easy way to grow your subscribers to 100 and do it fast. And that's by simply leaving a comment. You could use this video right here. Leave a comment, tell people what your channel is about, and ask them to subscribe to your channel, and in return, subscribe to their channel. This is all over YouTube, it's called Sub for Sub. I know it's wrong, but to get to 100 subs, it's honestly the easiest way to do that. And just be active, you know, go ahead and watch their video, go ahead and comment on their video, give them, a, you know, they'll do the same for you. If we use this page to build a community where we're helping each other get to 100 subs, that's a great way to grow your YouTube page if it's new. And then stop. Once you get to 100 subs, don't use this because you're gonna get basically dead subscribers, subscribers that are not gonna be active. Maybe you'll build a few relationships through this page, but you'll get the numbers. And please, if you subscribe to someone's channel and they subscribe to you, don't unsubscribe. Let them get to 100 subs. Once you get past 100, people are gonna come and go. You're gonna lose subs, you're gonna gain some, gain some subs, and it's just gonna go that way. But in the beginning, please go ahead and leave a comment, subscribe to each other's channel, be supportive, 
and do not subscribe. This will you reach 100. Once you get to 100, please stop using this technique. Views count. The subscribers numbers don't really matter if they don't translate to views. So we want views, so we want real active subscribers. So one thing I couldn't find is how long does it take to get to 100 subscribers? Okay, so on this channel, it took me about two months and almost 40 videos to get to 100 subscribers. Now I used the sub for sub when I first started, when I put up three videos and nobody was watching, and I got about 20 subscribers, and those gave me some views, but I wanted to do this organically. I didn't wanna do sub for sub because I want real active users. I want this channel to be big. Basically, how Affinity, this channel, my goal with it is to have the biggest how-to platform on YouTube, honestly. And that's a big goal, and I wanna be able to attract other people, other experts to come make videos on this channel with a revenue share program. So uh, I really have big hopes for this and I really have a long-term plan for it. So I did use sub for sub to get a few subs and then I decided I'm not gonna do that. So be patient. This is not gonna happen overnight. Please don't you know, try to get sub for subs, a hundred of them in one day. It's just not gonna work. It's gonna waste your time. Make good quality content. I've spent the last four or five months, honestly, watching probably over a thousand videos, reading books, podcasts, articles, anything I could find on growing YouTube channels. I'm making a complete video on all that later. Again, this is about getting the first 100 subs. So I'm gonna get to the next point. And that is, make the best possible video you can. I know this is generic, but at least one of the videos you have should be really a good one. One that you're really proud of, okay? That's the first step. Now that you have that video, we basically want to get a little bit of the transcription, a little bit of the script on a piece of paper. So you could do this by going to the YouTube transcription section and go ahead and copy paste some of the points you have on that video, okay? For this, the video is about growing a YouTube page, right? So I'm gonna talk about being consistent, having good thumbnails, having tags, things like that. I'm gonna list those from the transcription or I'm gonna take some of the script. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and Google whatever this video is about. This video is get how to get 100 subs, right? I'm gonna type that into YouTube and I'm gonna watch the first five, six videos on that topic and I'm gonna leave a comment and I'm not gonna spam. The comment is gonna be valuable to those people looking that topic up. So in this case, I look up how to get more subs and I watch this video. I'm gonna leave a comment, hey Daryl, great tips. I really enjoyed this tip from the video. Uh, these are some of the other tips that I found useful to get to 100 subs. Thanks for helping me and I'll list those. And that's it. You don't have to spam with a link or tell people to sub to you. You just leave a valuable comment on someone's channel and people are gonna click it and they're gonna check out your latest video. People are gonna subscribe organically like that. I got most of my first 100 subscribers by doing this and it wasn't considered spam because I'm adding value to other people's YouTube pages through the comment. So remember, this is gonna drive traffic back to your channel, but if your channel doesn't look good, if your content's not good, if the sound's not good, if you don't have a channel banner, logo, all the other things that go along with having a good channel, it's not gonna work. People are not gonna subscribe. This is what I recommend doing. I'm gonna make a video on how to do all the other things, optimizing videos, making a nice YouTube channel. But in the meantime, go ahead and check out some of these, I took some notes, go ahead and check out some of these other channels that helped me get to this point and all the knowledge that I got from these channels that I took notes on. They're Daryl Eve's channel, Roberto Blake, this other channel called Video Influencer, and a relatively newcomer called Nick Neiman. This guy has grown his channel by 15,000 subs the last couple of months I've followed him. So between those channels, you're gonna get so much value. And hopefully by the time you found this video, a link should be in the description on how to grow your YouTube channel. I'm gonna leave everything on the table with that one and tell you everything you need to know from scratch to grow your YouTube channel. But to create an attractive channel, you need an attractive banner, a nice looking logo, you need to write an about us section. You need to have a channel trailer. This could be you just talking, telling people what your channel's about. Is it got gaming, cooking, whatever. Check out my channel trailer. It's, it's animation, it's with text. Create a playlist, have a playlist. So different games, like if you have a gaming channel, different games go into one playlist. The homepage should have multiple sections. Now that's all channel related. For the videos, you want the videos to be searchable. Good custom thumbnails with bright colors. Don't just use the thumbnails that YouTube recommends. Make one. Again, there's a video that I made in my channel to show you how to do that. Searchable titles, good descriptions, searchable tags. Fill up the tag section. You have a lot of room there to fill it up. 
and being consistent with your uploads. For example, in this channel, I try to do almost daily videos. I have a schedule and I do ton of videos on here almost daily to be consistent. On my filmmaking channel, I do weekly. So I tell people Mondays I'm gonna put up a video and I stick to that schedule. Again, I do have a full-time job. This is not my full-time job right now. I do make sure I created a schedule that I know I could stick to. So if you could only do one a week, do one a week, don't promise daily uploads. If you could do one a month, do one a month. Try to be consistent and keep with a schedule. That's really huge. And also reply to all your comments as much as you can, especially when you're first growing, make sure you engage with your subs and reply to comments. That could lead to really dedicated subscribers that will always come back to view your latest videos. And this one no one ever talks about, but don't make a video on crazy popular topics. People think they'll find the topic that people search the most, like how to tie a tie or how to play Minecraft. You're never gonna be found. The channels that are getting found by doing those videos have been around for a long time. They have a lot of influence. They're gonna get ranked a lot faster than you, even if you do all the things right. Perfect titles, perfect tags. It's gonna take forever to get found. So you could still do videos on those topics, but just make sure they're more specific. So instead of how to play Minecraft, talk about something specific about the game that you've created that you wanna share. Or if you wanna talk about tying a tie, do it some, you know, how to tie a skinny tie with a Windsor knot. More specific is gonna get you ranked higher for that specific term. You're not gonna rank for how to tie a tie, but you'll rank for things that are more specific. Okay, so quick recap, those were all the long-term stuff. Again, do your research on those, but for getting 100 subs, make sure you engage your social media network, share that with them. Let's say that gets you 20, 30 subs. Leave a comment below, tell people what your channel is about and get a sub by subbing to someone else's channel on this page. Again, I'm leaving this open just this time just to get to 100 subs with my community helping you grow in the very beginning. Don't do this later. That's tip number two. And tip number three is have really engaging content that you're gonna share in a little text blurb on other people's page. So whatever your title for your video is, you know, look up those videos, look up the first five or 10 and leave a very valuable comment in their comment section. That is gonna drive traffic back to you if the comment is valuable and doesn't come off as spam. So don't say, watch my latest video, subscribe to my channel, that's spam. That's just gonna go to the spam folder most likely. It's not even gonna show up. So those three tips should get you 100 subs. Just be consistent with it and just do it every day. Again, please be patient. This is gonna take time. You're not gonna get 100 subs in one day. That's just the wrong way to approach things. Again, it took me two months, but in the meantime, I was constantly making videos and my channel was growing and I was looking more attractive all the time. I was updating my thumbnails all the time. I was optimizing my tags all the time and I was creating channel trailers, putting more stuff on the About Us page, creating a website that people could go to to learn more, creating a bunch of social media pages, Instagram, Facebook, for this channel. So you're organically growing it like that on your own and people are just gonna find you. And the better your channel looks, the, the more likely you're gonna get subscribers. I hope you got some value out of this video. Please subscribe and like this video if you do find it useful and go ahead and comment with your channel below so we could help each other get to 100 subs. And please come back, I wanna grow this community all the time so I plan on making a lot more YouTube related video along with my other how-to videos and each video I try to be as complete as I can in the shortest amount of time and just give you all the value that I can in every single video so please come back and I hope to see you again on the next video